Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. And just so you know, I do upload two versions of this video, one with gameplay audio and one without. So look at the description. And if you'd prefer to watch the other version, there's a link to it at the top of the video description. But with that out of the way, we are back in Cobblemon today. If you haven't seen my previous videos, you haven't missed too much. And if you have been uh, keeping up with this series, you know that the plan for this video is to build a PC box. Since I have almost a full party of Pokemon, and I need a place to store them. And then, we're also looking for a place to set up base. So to build this PC box, oh, that's not the right inventory. I need, I think, some more iron. I don't understand. I have to be at a crafting station to see all the recipes. But I think I need some more iron. And I need some glass. And I would also like to find some more apricorn trees. To hopefully um, try to get some apricorn seeds. Oh, I'll have that gold over there. made a, a weird sound, something I think got disconnected. Um, my own door is completely full. Guess I will use this rock then. I think that's what gold looks like, I don't know. Like, I, like I've said, I'm very much a Minecraft noob. I'm still doing shop breakers for my hard candy. Switching over from typically doing Jolly Ranchers to uh, shop breakers because they last a lot longer. And they taste surprisingly good. I had very low expectations for shop breakers. They 
always seem like a very uh, mid-tier candy, but they've started to win me over. some red apricorns. Let's pray to the Cobblemon gods that uh, it drops an apricorn seed. And I don't have the inventory for this, I just realized I'm going to need to drop something. I guess I don't need those peonies. I probably don't need that string either, but this area out. This will be the start of our base. Oh nice. I wonder if that is the original villager settlement that was near me or not. God, this, this shader mod looks so good. Things. 
goes down. Feel like a real Pokemon trainer, sleeping all under the stars. small so I think I have some room to experiment while I like find my footing but so far it seems that Minecraft content is the clear favorite but that might just be because it's like the most popular or one of the most popular games on YouTube I think so I'm kind of going with that right now hopefully get some more viewers and subscribers and stuff. But I don't think Minecraft is the game I enjoy playing the most. I'm not sure if I should focus on the game that I enjoy playing the most or the game that has the most people that want to watch it. That even makes sense I'm explaining that. Um, but it seems like probably playing a game that I'm excited to play will make the content better, is my hypothesis. Um, right now, I'm like really excited to play World of Warcraft Classic, which that actually just got tempered a little bit. Um, I was just watching videos about Baldur's Gate 3, which is an RPG by Larian Studios, um, which made the Divinity Original Sin games, if you're familiar with those. But I never played the first Divinity Original Sin. But I played the second one. Again, I never beat it, but I got pretty far in it. And... I liked it a lot. I was just watching videos about Baldur's Gate, which is in early access, which I guess only goes to like an incomplete first act. But even that has an insane amount of content, apparently. And that just very much piques my interest. Because I like games with a high degree of freedom. And I don't know, again, thinking about that niche for my channel. I don't think I could ever stick to just one game, because I need some variety. Plus, considering making my niche, like, RPGs, or at least games that have, like, a lot that you can do in them, so, thinking the new... The new Zelda game that's coming out, The Tears of the Kingdom, I'm sure. That's gonna have an insane amount of stuff to do in it. Yeah, thinking of playing games like that, World of Warcraft, not as much, but still like an RPG. Make 
make your own story type of game. And then Baldur's Gate, maybe a uh, Divinity Original Sin, and things like that. Or us thinking of focusing on like a niche, not even niche, well, I guess niche, but um, like cult classic games or games that have a cult following. So I think Baldur's Gate would fall into that. And then also games like Deep Rock Galactic, which I really like. I'm not sure how popular that is. Um, I don't think it's one of my most viewed, but I don't think it's my least, so I don't know. Um, so yeah, just really trying to figure out a niche. So if you have any opinions of like, you're like, oh yeah. RPGs that, like, you can just mess around in, and, like, the reason I like that is because each playthrough is going to be completely different. I think it let me kind of show off my personality, since I'm going to play that game completely different from anyone else. That's kind of how that works in games like Baldur's Gate and Divinity, the Original Sin. Um, and then Minecraft, I mean, is even kind of the same way, too. It's a completely open sandbox. I guess sandbox is the word I was looking for. So playing like sandbox RPGs as being the niche for this channel. But I don't know. I'm trying not to stress it too, too much. I'm just trying to keep putting out content. But at some point, since I do want to take this seriously, I need to get a little more methodical about it. leaving that for when I get back from my trip, which by the time this video gets uploaded, I will have been back from my trip for at least a week or two. God, and this, um, this lemon jawbreaker, it's not like it's really sour, like it still has a bit of sweetness to it, I'd almost say it's more like lemonade, but it is like almost making my mouth pucker. It's, you know, after you eat like a lot of pineapple or a really acidic food and it, I don't know, has that certain feeling in your mouth. I'm getting that from, from this jawbreaker. So maybe the lemon ones aren't the way to go for recording these videos. I don't really like the looks of the log cabin stuff. 
like the logs, it gives me like a those like tacky tongue and groove pine rooms that you see in people's houses that are just like all natural wood. I don't really like that look, but but um yeah, wood is what I have mostly in my inventory and I don't feel like sorry I keep getting like a hiccup. Um, oh crap, I wish I could get just Beedrill. Damn it. Can I like release my Iggly Puff?
actually be able to have like a stone floor, which would look nice. Let's see, that would be pretty sweet. as we go. This is all pretty on the fly. Okay, I guess I'll leave this as like an opening to the mine. out as we go.
glass furnace once we have one. I should have planted the other apricorn seed already. That was dumb. Look at that. That's a nice looking floor. Well, I'm 
not sure how I'm going to make this entrance to the mine. Must be a way. Is there a button that clicks and just moves stuff to your inventory? So you don't have to drag it. There has to be. Okay. We're not gonna get this base done today. But after I finish unloading all this stuff, we'll go down to the beach and get some sand and finish by making some glass.
Just morning, I guess maybe it just looked like morning because the rain had stopped. What a door! Oh my god, why am I so dumb? Oak fence gate. Oak fence. Oh, right there. Okay, yes, reverse it. together. I'm assuming not. But let's see. Nope, that looks dumb. Too many torches, I can't tell. Yeah, I don't think I need these ones. I don't think this is a bad start to my house once I finish off that side. Why do I keep like jumping when I try to come in? Okay, let's see. I've made our pokeballs. side exposed. Hopefully it'll spawn more apricorns that way. Okay, that should despawn. Go 
check out the the village at some point too. Okay, sorry, this can all be sandstone. It looks like we have some normal sand. This is sand. Okay, nice. I got some water here. Maybe we'll be able to find some water Pokemon. Hopefully, I picked a good good place for our base. I wonder if I have a map so I can find my way back easier. I think when I was setting up this world, though, I might have made it so when I die, I don't lose all my items. So, I guess as long as I have a spawn point, worst case scenario, I could, like, suicide my way back to my base. Skylight. 
light or something in this room. It's going to be really dark and dreary. And a bit claustrophobic. And I need to push it out further back. That's for sure. like doing the panoramic windows in my bases. You know what, let's even do this. Crap. Did not think that out.
the final position, but at least get it back here. on this tree. Oh crap, did I... No, I didn't chop down the wrong one. Interesting. Well, hopefully more will grow at some point. But at least I have this one. Okay, well, I think that was a pretty good episode, at least progress-wise. Just relax, you'll be asleep before.